Hello everyone. So this is a weekly meeting for the gist of Jenkins Docker base quick start. Um, I lost the count of how many weeks we've been working on that. <laughs> Whatever. So today we're on the 19th uh, June 2023 and some things have progressed. Uh, I think that the main thing we have to focus on today is the midterm presentation, and I guess you'll agree with me, Jean-Marc. So, uh, Ashutosh, you will have to give a 10 minutes presentation uh, on the 6th of July, if this hasn't changed yet. So, we will have to discuss about that today and see what you will present, how you will present, and so on. Jean-Marc, would you like to tell us a few words about that? Uh, no, you 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 set the goal of the this meeting very well, uh, because uh, defining the goal's content and what is required will guide in the priorities uh, in in the coming uh, coming weeks. So uh, good work has been done, as far as I've seen uh and um so i don't have anything to add to what you said bruno cool <laughs> um i should touch what are your thoughts about that uh do you have the slightest idea of what you'd like to show um i haven't thought about it right now uh, but uh, i was thinking of watching the previous G-Shock uh, uh, presentations to get an idea how things work. Okay. This is a good, this is a good idea, but also take, uh, take the time. This is uh, something important. Uh, what you would like to show? What is your goal? And uh, don't forget, it's you're selling the project. So there, there is also some glitter stars required for that, uh, and and give perspective. So um, you should um, start saying, "I want to say this," or "I want to show this, this, and this," and tell them this so and and 10 minutes is fast so you just have 10 minutes uh, for that so what's uh, about that yeah go, go ahead for the first thing i think uh, we should uh, discuss about the persona and showcase the use of the the current example that works with uh, so it will solve for the first persona mainly for first person, it's not. I uh, for second person, I don't. Uh, I think we'll have to create another example. Right. Uh, yes, first but person. yeah, but I'm not so sure we'll be ready for the sixth of June uh, to present anything well, the, or the second, second kind of persona. Yeah. Go ahead. This Omar. will be maybe. To, this will be maybe to explain uh, where we're heading at. Now let's 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 see what I suggest uh, to move uh, forward. We can start discussing it here, but we need to come with a small document where you you start to have the layout of the presentation, just heading bullet points, like this, this, and and this. Good idea. I, I have some. I, I, my brain is already. But I, I don't want to to uh, to impede. But uh, I'm 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 used to that. Now this is this is important. Now you could have thought about that. I think you already thought about that while uh, waiting in the train or or or. Or maybe you slept all the time in the, in the train. But I, I keep thinking about these kind of things in the background. And then pops, bing, there it is. So try to make the, um, the, the, the not the summary, but 
the you know the 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 first slide saying we're going to talk about this 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 and this which is not a good idea for making good presentation i'm going to tell you that afterwards <laughs> but then i'll 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 share all the secrets of making exciting presentations this is a whole other subject but you're right uh jean -Marc. Berianto, don't hesitate. I know the, you're, you're not in a convenient setting um, because I believe you're you're at work. But uh, uh, if if you want to intervene in the discussion, either open your mic and make a noise, or use the raise hand uh, uh, option. Uh, I know you're quite person compared to me. <laughs> It's not difficult. <laughs> so don't forget, we want to hear what you have to say. Okay, Bruno. Yep. Go ahead. Stop me. Otherwise, no, no, I'm, that's okay. Don't get too much excited about all that. Um, let me find my commands. Ouch. Okay. Um, what about having a look at the current issues and or pull request. I think I saw one this morning that I approved. Um, I've seen a lot of good traffic. Yeah. Are there pull requests that need to be reviewed? I yes, think the, one still... the, yeah, the one with the job, uh, you, uh, you suggested to add some weight time uh, so i asked if we should add the sleep command for three or four seconds before the yeah uh, i'm going to try it out this morning yeah yes i tried it out and it works fine on yes, so, uh, good looking uh so what do we have so the added restart and fail. I haven't tried it yet. It looks good to me because it follows the current recommendation. It's a blog post article that I gave in the issue creation. You know, it's something that Damien Duportal had written a few months ago, maybe even last year. So this should work, but I will test it uh, nonetheless, and we'll see. Uh, the problem was that whenever you updated the plugins in the example, well, the Jenkins controller did not restart. Was just stopping at all. So this and should... what happens then? Um, now, with a correction? Yeah, with, yeah. A... with a restart on failure. Uh, uh, I hope does, that. Does it try again? I think the uh, controller it... should restart. I it haven't tried it yet. Interesting. I've tried yeah. it on GitPod, it uh, restarts automatically after 20 seconds. And uh, if it's if it's a failure that requires changes to the configuration, aren't we getting into uh, a loop that we can't get out? I've okay. tried it. How do you uh, get? After, I just tried it after uh, installing new plugin and clicked on restart after restart before install. But that's so. I haven't tried it. I'm going going to check uh, that normally when we publish it uh, it should be stable and uh, people should not start changing the configuration break it otherwise it's it's their fault so i i need to look at it uh, more in details so my fear is that we if something goes wrong that we might end in an endless loop and and uh, okay, I've never experienced that, but uh, why not? I'm using the always tag, which is not a good idea. I'm not following the Jenkins recommendation, so let's see if that works for you, also, Jean Marc, and doesn't go into an unlimited loop. We'll see, but I don't know why this could happen, but. Maybe I didn't fully understand the issue you think of. We'll see. 
Okay. Um, Go ahead. Now I let you. No, I, I don't, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place. Uh, continue the flow of what you wanted to say. Then I um, know what I want to to know from Ashutosh. Yes. Uh, there was something else that was bugging me, which is um, uh, updating the continuous updating of the plugins. I have uh, proposed something, but that that's not really beautiful uh, to me. It's not super fine, so I don't know how we should address that. I think that for the time being, maybe we should do it uh, by hand and not use uh, a script to do that. The thing is, if you are using the um, uh, Jenkins client command line uh, to get the new list of updated plugins. It will give you also the plugins that you didn't install by yourself. You know, we have a very small set of uh, mandatory plugin for our example. But if you use the Jenkins client uh, thing to keep all the plugins up to date, it will give you a complete exhaustive list of all the plugins that are installed. And I think even if that works well, it's too much information uh, to deal with. So I don't know, maybe we should just keep updating the plugins by hand. This one. It's, yeah, it's more of a question than an assertion. I, I'm not so sure what we, we should do. So if ever you have an idea about that, please let me know. There you're touching uh, one of the fundamental questions of life. <laughs> how to keep a plugins updated. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, uh, Berviento, you have practical experience with that uh, probably. How do you keep plugins up to date by hand or do you have an automated process or, or a process? Mm, currently by hand, I don't have any automatically. Mm -hmm. Uh, because one of the issues there is also that uh, there are all the dependencies. So a plugin depends on the plugin that depends on the plugin. And, uh, and don't forget that once we publish this example, and we're going to put the documentation around that, uh, knowing the facts of life, nobody's going to look at it and it will mm -hmm. uh, get stale very, very quickly. And that would be a pain and we cannot do that. So um, I'm, I'm going to look then what you're proposing, Bruno. Thank so you. your, your, your proposal is, um, a finished one or working progress? No, or... no, it's only a working progress. I've got something which is more uh, finished than that, more polished, more clean. Uh, in another repo, it even creates automatic PRs uh, to keep plugins up to date. But that's maybe overkill, over-engineered for no. this project. I don't know. Uh, we could do that uh, with uh, update CLI also, but you know, it's a whole other subject of the TLI. We could use it for lots of things for this um, project, but it you need to spend some time before being fluent with update TLI. And I'm not so sure we have the time to do that. I don't know. And um, the other way we could do it is just get rid of the pinned version, you know, so that it's automatically up to date, but it's not clean either. Yeah. I'm, I I think we need to crack that nut. We need to to solve to solve that. We need to think. I agree with you uh, about timing constraints, especially as we're short uh, uh, in time. Um, but at least it should be in the technical depth. Mm. It should be listed. Um, going to have a look to what you've been proposing, Bruno, and uh, see, we're, we're going to upgrade also the LTS shortly, and so we will uh, be able to experience the work involved. You're yeah, right. Good point. Okay. Um, and you had another PR open also, Bruno? 
Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, uh, but... but what is uh, Feature what is adding to? Yeah, adding job. I think you did it, uh, Jean-Marc. What were you asking for? Another then you closed. Version? Oh yes. Then uh, so you, you closed were not the other one. Yeah, you were not happy with um, uh, the job, Jean-Marc. Yeah, okay. No, I, th I thought, so this is the third PR uh, and uh, Ashutosh uh, added the sleep. So this one I need to test. No, I didn't add it yet. I was asking if I should add it. I, yeah. I had no, no, it on my uh, local machine. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm going to try it and put myself in the place of the, the, the first uh, persona. And, and so the attitude will be, uh, what is this Jenkins? Okay, let's start it. And then the, 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 the first reaction will be, okay, so what? And, and this is where uh, a job kicking in, doing something, there you you create and expose the material to start the conversation. So this is a scenario I'm, that should be uh, 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 answered. And some documentation will have to be written, uh, technical documentation, but also uh, documentation by the docs team uh, with our suggestion to say, well, okay, do this, look at that, and this is where you're going to find documentation for that and, and, and going to try that. I need to look at the PRs. Okay. I was also wondering if we should start uh, uh, the discussion with docs and infra team. Oh. Um... Infra team, not yet. Uh, we are not ready yet. We don't have anything that could be integrated easily and, you know, which is kept up to date. We have to discuss that, you know, with Update Light, we know about or depend about whatever. So I'm afraid we're not ready yet. As for the documentation, I think you attended once um, the Docs Office Hours Asia. And you know, most of the time, uh, I never tell him that it's 4 a.m. my time. So, uh, but I think it's just uh, writers discussing writer things. So it's not really interesting if you are not a writer for Jenkins.io. But whenever somebody chimes in um, and the subject can change oh, totally, you know, uh, if you come with your own questions, integration, whatever, uh, they will discuss it with you. So I think they enjoyed you going there. If you still want to attend the next one and the next one and so on, of course, you're welcome. And this way you would know more about what docs people uh, are waiting for, what they need, how they think that the tutorial should integrate into the Jenkins IO website and so on. So yes, um, you should, if you want to, attend um, the docs office hours and gather some information from them because you um, you made a proposal uh, but now we have to mix and match your proposal to the existing existing Jenkins yeah. IO website and the way they think uh, it should be there is already a docker tutorial somehow uh, uh, on the website it doesn't work that well so yes please and sorry joe mark i hadn't seen your raised a hand go ahead no i i was just going to add uh some some color behind so uh going to the docs team and the question is super uh i should touch this will be to test to, to dry run the idea and and say we, we should now it's just a little bit too early because it's shaping. Um, but uh, to do a demo and say, here, 
this is what we have. This is the way, and you explain it by, and this is the way it could be integrated in. I'm telling it with words. I'm doing a presentation around that. Who can guide me or who could do the work to translate that into words, written words? Because this is exactly their speciality. We're technicians here, so we're going to create the demo. We will be able to explain the demo and tell the story around it. But uh, they will have to then think, OK, we can integrate it at that place in Jenkins IO, and this is the documentation, uh, or, or maybe have uh, uh, a recording. So there are many, many ideas. So now is we need to do that dry run first, which also will be the the demo uh, that we'll do on the on July sixth. So practically, Bruno, my my proposal is uh, that uh, we work internally here on having that story the demo that that we we really look at it uh, that way that everything is working out of the box uh, and at that moment ashutosh can make the step and do a first sale or first sell of the idea to the to the docs I see a shooter smiling. He sees himself as a salesman, and, and so, but this is basically what we're doing. Okay, so uh, you you can go to the docs team just to listen, to know who's who, and to see how it works. And uh, maybe end of this week we will be ready to uh, to move one step further. And it's and, on uh, Friday your time, I guess, Ashutosh. Yeah, do, so we have the week to prepare. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So yes, we have the week, I say, John Mark, to provide something that looks like a demo or a sales pitch, something that we could share. Look, the nice stuff I have here, this is going to make our life much easier. And, yes. and this is how it works. So you need some some enthusiasm behind it. Yeah, maybe <laughs> they will just destroy it. No, just kidding. They are very nice no. persons. No, no. Uh, that will. They will fine. not. not uh, don't scare him. No. No, no, no. Uh, the thing is, it's nice also to go there pretty early in the life of the project because you never know. Maybe you are thinking something that won't integrate very well into the Jenkins IO uh, website. You never know. I think Mark and who is it? Meg, I think. Uh, and also yeah. Kevin yes, may have uh, a very clear vision of what they want. And maybe it's slightly different from what we are producing now. So better go now before we do something which is way too far from what they are expecting from us. Uh, they are not um, directing the project, you know, but we have to make something that blends uh, pretty well. So there are that's what questions. I think. Yeah. yeah. It's a good way to try out your, your presentation or the skeleton of the presentation of the, the sixth. So uh, yeah. So the the first yeah. The the canvas of the presentation is is super ur urgent. We need to get the PRs uh, closed so that we have a working a, a, a first milestone ready that works. In this, I'm going to try. I'm going to do today. Thank you. Uh, before going to uh, uh, next issues, Ashutosh, uh, would you have any other questions, concern? Uh, I don't have any concerns. I was just uh, having a hard time uh, thinking about new examples. <laughs> that was I the next. Do... Question that I had for you, you know, the when I said issue, I wanted to refer yes. to 
this one yes of course uh, propose a set of other examples to implement okay. so yes you have um difficulties to think of other examples yes i was thinking docker and docker and docker is the should be the first ones because it's docker based examples proposal so the, i think that that should be there docker and docker one to build docker images inside with docker containers but i didn't understand what is docker on docker you suggested on the oh uh, issue yes uh it's docker important or... that you know that yeah uh Beaviento and jean marc let me know if i'm saying stupid things it's just coming out of the top of my head so docker in docker you have a working docker container in which you have a docker engine running so it's docker within docker they are not sharing much okay and docker on docker it's a docker container having access to the docker engine which is running the container so there is a, a socket which is shared between the Docker okay, okay. and what's inside the container. And I think you the only thing you have to install in the container is the Docker client. You don't have a Docker engine running in your container. It's using the Docker engine from the host. So that's why I call, I think the term is correct, Docker on Docker. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah, it's, it's to give the idea, I've seen my granddaughters and they're, they're playing with everything. They want to cook. Either you give them, and, and so we have an apartment here, so we imagine we have an apartment. And so we, we, we set them a table and say, well, here you can cook and you have a small stove and, and this is okay, but you may not go outside of that, it doesn't work. So they don't even know that there is a bigger uh, or they're working in a restaurant and you set them apart a little table, but there is no restriction for them because they can use the whole kitchen of all the different uh, uh, parts. And so you cannot restrict what they're doing. It's much easier because they have access to all the tools. They have access to everything. It makes it very easy, but for small kids, this is not a good idea at all. So this is why on the other side, you make them believe here, this is your house. You, you cannot go outside of your house or, or the, 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 the room. There, there's nothing outside you don't even know. You need to make do with what you have there. And this is an, an image to show the separation in what is Docker on Docker and Docker in Docker. And, and it's it's a huge security problem and a huge, uh, 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 well, yeah, it's something that people need to understand and think about, especially in very big configurations. Yeah. If did I completely there, mess out? Uh, no, no, did I, I completely it. mess your image? So <laughs> good advice is to read on the wires, but there you're opening not a can of warm, you're opening a truckload of warms because it's huge. <laughs> yes, it's um, a can of can of can of warm, you know, so like um, yeah. uh, Russian dolls. And, <laughs> and, and to give you an, an idea, Gitpod, uh is doing um uh, uh, uh now i'm i'm not sure i'm using the right name but you you have the impression that you're on your own machine so it's you don't know anything about the huge kitchen that's behind you have no access to it to it it's limited and so you can start your own dockers and um, we could do docker and docker and docker and docker and you still could not ex uh uh, escape without security uh, flaw or uh, a CV. Yeah, uh, if Damien were there, uh, I think it would give us very good advice. Uh, 
one should not use Docker and Docker or Docker on Docker. Yeah. It's not secure, but uh, we have to progress, so we have to use that one day on another. And um, it used to work on Gitpod, uh, Docker in Docker and Docker on Docker. But I think they secured somehow uh, it, or maybe it was buggy, so they removed some part of it. So this may not work on Gitpod anymore. Yeah. So you would have to... I'd, I'd I would really leave that uh, at, at the end because you're getting into the devil's kitchen. Yeah, the there. thing is, I didn't want uh, Ashutosh to spend too much time trying to figure out why it's not working. So that's um, uh, alert, you know, um, yeah. spoiler alert. Don't lose uh, time working with Gitpod on this example. It just won't work. <laughs> so. uh, to, to add to, uh, to that and to show uh, you how in big infrastructure it was uh, uh, solved. And, and I, I worked for banks in, in these kind of environment. Uh, they were, so using Kubernetes, which is a, a, a very nice uh, container orchestrator, sharing resources. Uh, the recommended way for doing that was to uh, send the building of image to dedicated hosts to a separate infrastructure. It was completely uh, decoupled. And this infrastructure was dedicated to building images. Uh, and, and was a, a kind of, of a container factory. And using uh, operating systems like Canico, that because in order to uh, to build the images, you need very high privileges, but with high privileges come also high risks and responsibilities. And, and so it, it, it's a huge problem. So I agree with Bruno, it's a very wise step to leave that to, uh, to the yeah. end. And you could uh, be, uh, Tim, sorry, go ahead, Jomar. I just wanted to make sure that Berviento has, because he probably has some practical experience on that. So you would like to add something or tell us your vote? Mm, basically, no, but I have a question because I think Asutos already have some example in his proposal using Docker in Docker. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, uh... Proposals example here, Docker and Docker is I mimic the, the current example but, from the Docker section. But for that, you had to expose the underlying socket, right? Don't remember. Check, so you know. gave the container or Jenkins full access to the socket. Yeah. Ran privileged. Yeah. And yes. This is definitely a no-no mm. because you're 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 giving. If I take the analogy of kitchen, so you're showing people how to cook, and you're working with a very dangerous furnace, and and where you can burn all the food or even put the complete kitchen on fire. So these are the kind of things that that maybe in some street food or or these kind of things where they do risky things, but in in a hotel kitchen, I would definitely not do that at all. You see the image? Yes, yes. <laughs> so I need to look it uh, look it up better. But uh, now is Docker in Docker? something that is of interest to the first persona i think it's more for the second persona i think so and my main yeah my main concern was that we are working for the first persona and should we focus on the first persona for uh, you know selling the product to the docs team and for the presentation or should they have a small part for the first persona another part for the second persona i don't know I'm worried because, uh, as you say, John Mark, it's a truckload of worms. Yeah. Be there. Uh, uh, Ashutosh and Bruno, I have the following suggestion. So I, I'm fully with Ashutosh in saying that the current demo job 
is a little bit too lightweight. We, we could have more. Uh, uh, now we're, we're, we're getting one level higher. So I, I don't play a lot of video games, but I think we're unlocking a difficulty level uh, there. But uh, could we create a job for building a software? Uh, and that would require minimal configuration and would not be a security issue. Uh, meaning access to GitHub and, and these kind of things. It Bruno, sure are there... Uh, go, go ahead, Ashutosh. Yeah, there are examples uh, right now, I think, for building uh, for building, I think there are three examples right now in tutorial part of the document. Can we try to have at least it ready? So that, uh, A, I think you're putting the finger on a great idea, Shutosh. Let's try to create uh, jobs that are ready so that then the people can hook to the script of the, the description of the demo. And uh, we need to clarify that. But I, I think you're you're on the right idea, Shutosh. I think you're you have a fish biting at the hook. Now you need to get the fish out of the water. I think this is what we should work on. I, I think Shutosh is 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 laughing from my examples. <laughs> no, no, I like it. It's easier to explain. Uh... Uh, but this, inside, this is the way inside. you, yeah. But this is the way you you uh, you explain. I'm also going to give you a few tips on on how to make your your presentation. Yes, I like I, that. I, the very short tip is you have one minute max. So let's say thirty seconds to wake the people up when you start your presentation. If you fail to connect with your audience at that moment, you will have a hard time to get them focused. 30 seconds is the time that they get to be distracted by Facebook, Instagram, TikTok or whatever and start looking around and don't listen to you anymore. It's it's difficult, especially when, when you're doing it, it uh, online. So, the 31st seconds or the first minute is you don't start with presenting yourself. You don't start by saying, uh, this is Google Summer of Code and so on. You lost already half of the audience. You start by telling a very short story or, or uh, puzzling, puzzling them or uh, doing um, uh, a, a, a small story where, for instance, you put yourself as the first persona yes. and, and just say, I'm going to tell you a little story. I had a buddy, it, let's, you can start it that way, right? don't you? I had a buddy who was interested to know what Jenkins was. And uh, he it took a long time to get it started. I couldn't show him easily, and that got me frustrated. Because the time it took me to start a Jenkins to, to have it, he was not interested anymore. The purpose of this project is to build a configuration where we can see, and see the, the, the principle of... of now, I, I don't want to give you all, all the, the the tips but think on your own so don't follow my example i'm 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 biased i'm i'm but but you see the principle of focus on the first 30 seconds first minute this is where you get them uh them interested I'll remember that. Um, 
think read also on on the the subject i have some uh, there, there's some good books on, on that but uh, doing a powerful presentation is important bruno do you want to add something to my tip no i i think you're also I'm on the Use same line and you the master. kind of <laughs> no problem with that. Yes, it's important. You're right. Start with something like an anecdote, a joke or something uh, that will wake up people. And you're right, John Mark, 30 seconds to one minute. You have to establish a connection between the audience and yourself. If you don't manage to do that. Hello, I'm Bruno. I will tell you about Jesus. You're done. You it's lost over. them. You, yeah. you, you lost them already. <laughs> Look Good at tip. yourself when you're listening to a presentation. Look at yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Uh... <laughs> Got it. Okay, uh... I'm getting over time. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... No problem. Um, so, I don't know what you think, Bervinto and Jean Morgan, even mm -hmm. Ashutosh, of course. Um, so, should we try to build an example about Docker in Docker or Docker on Docker or keep something? more easy um you know like for example adding i told about ldap it could be anything adding a database adding a test or you know just one little step above what we've already done or go the whole of the way and start with docker in docker so what are your thoughts about that the others talk but my, my opinion is very strong I think I prefer um, like adding database instead of Docker in Docker because it's quite advanced. Yeah. Okay. And Bruno, first make the three examples that are in Jenkins uh, documentation available. I think there is the. Um, Yes, Docker in that. Docker, I would, yeah. So uh, we should drop Docker in Docker in these discussion. This is advanced. Uh, yeah, there. Um, Ashuto shared the the link. Oh, and this would be a very good, uh, a very good stage, a first stage. Um, and then for the second persona, we can have a cookbook or um, uh, yeah. But Docker in Docker is far too advanced. I know it's an interesting uh, subject. But, um... Okay, uh, then of course we wouldn't talk about Blue Ocean because it's deprecated. Um, <laughs> below on the using build tool section yeah. okay uh yes, yes uh definitely if we could have something that works without hold oh my gosh yes uh that's why this project is important frankly as a first time user seeing that kind of instruction would make me no, run away, run away. Yeah, of course. Screaming. Uh, my, oh, my. Okay. Um, I think it's a good reality check that you've been doing there, Ashutosh, by pointing to that documentation. Very good. Thank you. Okay. No. Um, so let's forget about uh, Docker in Docker for the time being. We have to focus on what will showcase uh, on the 6th of July. Yeah. And, and that would be, if, if we manage to do it, Ashutosh, I'm, I'm giving you ideas, I'm sorry, but here, a good start would be this is the first view that somebody who wants to learn about Jenkins is going to see. These are all the instructions you need to go through. 
This is what we proposed. And bam! You do a checkout. You do a checkout of the project. Docker up. There you are. And now you can follow the different steps that are there. You see that? And you do the, the compare. And aha. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and now the audience is doing a standing ovation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a goal. <laughs> now, it's still a lot of work to do, interesting work uh, to do. Yeah. Uh, Ashutosh, is it uh, clear for you? Yes. Cool. Uh, so, Maybe you should create a list of issues in the GitHub repo so that you know what you've been doing, what you will be doing, and so we can review, you know, as always, create pull requests that address the issues and so on. So maybe for the time being, just one big issue. I'm not so sure we can create issues of issues, um, Jean-Marc. So, you know, uh, like we do know. in Jira, like, you know, uh, how is it called? Um, story uh, an epic uh, yeah something? an epic yeah I don't... i'm not so sure we have that on github issues so maybe just create one big issue that will um be linked you to can link all the issues yeah you can link them or group them in releases depends how much time uh Shutosh has yeah and then create a few issues way. saying i'm trying to replicate this part of the documentation then this part and this part and so on and make pull requests that solve these issues uh was i clear enough yes yes cool uh so lots of work ahead <laughs> yeah but for me too that should be okay <laughs> yeah so let me put it in the action items Um, and the, the the goal is uh, the first release of the products product or July six. So this is the goal that we have a, a good. Thing, so that we nearly complete it with the first person. I'm missing my two screens. Oh, of course, I have three. And, you know, whenever oh. I do some um, co-working, I feel naked because I only have one. Yeah. I think my internet is causing some issues. It's saying your internet connection is unstable. Ouch. Uh, but we're almost okay. at the end of the meeting, and yeah, and sometimes John Mark, you sound like a robot. I guess you also have some trouble on your side, or maybe it's yeah. Me. Do I also uh, sound this, like this... a robot? No, no, you're you you're good. I fear that it's my the the French telecom 4G is not working as expected. Poor quality. No, I, I have a good signal. I don't know. Mysteries of the internet. No, that's almost okay. In fact, sometimes you freeze, sometimes you sound like a robot, but most of the time it's correct. Okay. So I'm connected to... Uh, uh, okay. Um, so, so you only understood half of my stories. <laughs> no, you're very no, politely... <laughs> <laughs> you're very Still, politely... Watch the recording. <laughs> yeah okay i'll i'll try that but one of my tasks uh today will also be to check uh how we can manage with rec uh, passing a recorded presentation during oh, the uh, i have June to 6. experiment on that also because i used to do that quite a lot 
before joining the Jenkins project. So I have to know if my I, memory I, still work. And oh, we'll, uh, we'll present good. live, right? So you will present we'll live. Have, do you, uh, yes, yes, so. yes. It's only uh, hard. He is in exams. Uh, one that was also. Yeah, well, yeah, I should. So yes, Jean Marc, it's on my list for all the week. I have yeah, to make some experiments. It's yeah, I need to talk to Vandit too. I I heard rumors that Vandit. Uh, I need to to check with uh, each because it's it's trying to mix water and oil. Uh, there it doesn't work. Uh, people have exams, have other duties, and um, but a recorded presentation is lousy i prefer live ones so get prepared to one uh, to a to a live one and you're going to have much more fun uh, I, oh, I'm, yes. I'm i'm coaching you for that so <laughs> so you you will learn much better yeah. okay folks i propose that we wrap it up uh, it looks like we've addressed most of the subjects. If ever we still have yeah. the element, matrix, gitter, whatever channel to discuss, and you can create issues, tag people, same for the PRs. So feel free to do so. And I hope to see some of your work uh, later this week. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your time, folks, yeah. and have a wonderful week. Thank Bye -bye. you. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.